All right, so I'm going to be reviewing the X-Causer um, Batman mask. Uh, I'm going to be making a full suit of armor and, and such with it, but you always need a good cowl. So as far as this, um, if you can see, I think I got this on, it was on sale, and I got it discounted with a coupon, I believe off eBay, for about uh, 26 bucks, 29 bucks, something like that. But if you want to look, um, so there's there's quite a bit of detail. You know, it's it's not too bad looking. It's it's more based on the Affleck style mask from like um, Justice League and and the like. So. It's not a real thick latex like some of the other brands you can get that are a lot more expensive. But I thought it looked decent for, for what you would pay for. Now, there is no nostril holes. Um, and so I'm going to show you what it looks like on. I did try this on. Uh, here's the logo on the back. It's pretty hard to see, but at least, you, know, you know it's there. Um, but I think it's hidden enough that it's probably not going to bother me too much. Uh, also, I would say that I have a smaller sized head than average, I think. Um, so a lot of the helmets that they make or the cows that they make are almost swimming on me. So I basically need something that's going to be smaller. So this is going to be made for a smaller head, slightly. Um, I've tried some of the other ones on and they're huge and I can basically fit my whole hand through my face and everything like that. So, um, But I'm going to try this on. I know I need a little bit of, of padding here because there's actually this much space before my head hits the top and it, and it pulls down lower than my eyes. So I'm going to add some foam to it and I'm going to do some slight alterations but I'll kind of tell you what I'm doing and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So. Basically, let's put this mask on. Uh, see, if it's pulled tight around my chin, I can barely see out of the eye holes. Okay, they're actually a little lower than I want them to be. Now we can fix this, but all in all, I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like from all angles. Okay. Now, in order to see, obviously, I have to look down. Now, I can fix this by doing this. But now, you see where it is on my chin. I don't like that. So, what I need to do is I'm going to need to actually cut the eye holes just a teeny bit bigger. Now, there's things you can do. Um, you can add lenses behind it and actually make it look like you can't see the eyes because normally you'll have to put black makeup around the eyes so that you can actually see out of it with the black covering so it looks like Batman, right? Uh, but you can put white lenses that have little holes in them that you can see through and just make it the shape of the eye that you want. Even though this might be bigger, you can just do a white lens that kind of makes the little kind of mean eye like the, the ones in the Batman uh, games by uh, Telltale. And then everything around it will be black. And so you can make a lens like this big with the white here and then black all around it and put it behind the mask and you'll be able to see through it. Uh, and it'll give it kind of a nicer look. I may opt to do that with this mask. I'm not sure yet. But another thing I need to do is, if you notice the mouth area, it's not very big, and if you look at some of his costumes, it's a little bigger than this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend it out a little bit, and I'm going to cut this piece of latex off right here. So that it has a little bigger mouthpiece, and it, that way it sits more under my chin, but it doesn't pull the eyes down, even though I'm going to uh, widen the eyes. Okay, So that's going to be the next step. So I'll show you what we do with that. So I'm using this shears. You can use it to cut like plastic and stuff. You can get them at like any hardware store, Harbor Freight, maybe even Walmart. So I'm going to carefully cut a little bit off 
the mouthpiece. And again, less is better because you can always cut a little more each time, but you can never take back if you overdo it. So um, be very careful how much you cut. And then you can always test it and then go a little further. I'm just going to cut about a millimeter, a couple millimeters here on each side. Again, take your time with this. Don't rush it because you know you'll have to buy a new one if you <clears throat> mess it up. So, see here, just get really close so there's not too many split seams or anything. You want to keep it nice and flat, not too jagged. So take your time. Because you never know if you're going to be able to cut any more, if that's going to be it. So you want to make sure you don't overdo it and you don't make it look too homemade. You know what I'm saying? So. And I'm thinking I'm going to need to cut more than this, but this is a good test of uh, how much I need to cut from there. So as you can see, I'm working it all the way around. Um, you can see the what I have and how much I've cut so far. I also did one of the eyes, and I'll show you the other one, and then we'll see if that was enough. Here's the last of it here. So there we go. Mouthpiece is a little bit bigger. Okay. And then if you can see, I cut one of the eyes just a little bigger now. And then there's the other eye. So we'll kind of see. I'm gonna, if you look at this, there you go. You see how there's two lids here? I'm going to cut off just the inner lid um, for sizing. And then we'll see. Because if you look at the, the pictures, if you actually look at the actual pictures, you'll see that they, um, he definitely has a bigger space where his eyes are in the movie. Or at least the one I've seen on, on the picture. So... Um, I'm going to cut this across and I'm going to work the other way. So I'm going to cut right here to the outside of the eye. And actually, there's a little bit of plastic coming up off here. I'm just going to start cutting that. There you go. So if you can see that little piece that's what I cut so far and then I'm gonna work my way around the other side now it's just easiest to do it that way for me to keep the seams clean Don't feel like you can't move the mask and adjust it to make sure you get the right angle on stuff, yeah? Okay. 
you can always color it with like a permanent marker or something just to you, you're gonna have some of the white show up anyway because when they made this mask even before I cut it you can see how there's some white of the latex showing there they had that there anyway so you're gonna see some of that but uh, if you want to make it a little you know kind of cleaner go ahead and take some paint or a permanent marker or something and just kind of you know clean that up a little bit but see, I just noticed there's a little bit of a lip here that I want to get rid of so it's probably gonna have to go this way uh, all right so again you should probably have some nostril holes <clears throat> um, I'm going to start with just folding it right where I think the nostril should be and I'll cut a little piece out and then if I if I really don't like it or whatever then I'll actually cut uh, a little bigger holes in the mask itself but really I think if you look at the pictures from Batman, Superman, or Donna Justice, they actually have, um, it goes this way. It almost looks like a, an A from the edge of the mask, and they cut it there, or that's where it's, it's kind of made. But I'm going to just put nostril holes itself for right now, and just see if I like it that way, because that might keep the shape of the nose better. But again, you know, I might not like it and I might adjust it. So, see how that goes. So, here's one hole. Again, so I just cut it kind of in a triangle. Um, can you see that? Yeah. So that there's some holes there so I can breathe through it. Um, again, I may... If you look at it, I may just cut this this whole piece off all the way down and just um, be able to breathe through there. But again, I'm just going to try to cut some pieces here so that that it's relatively easier to breathe out of. You always want to have some type of air hole or something so that you can breathe because you know it gets extra hot in here. Alright. So again, not perfect, but it's there so you can breathe. Um, again, I might play with that a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, I'm just going to throw it on for a second. Now again, I don't have my cap underneath it, so it's not lifted. Now normally, so if I put it flush to my head, you see where my eyes are, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some foam underneath it. And I think that's going to do, okay, so, let's see, it's hard to hold this in, try to mess with it. So if I put something on here, I think that'll tighten it up a little bit, and the eyes will be a little. So I've cut the eye holes slightly bigger. My nostril holes, I just dremeled it to make it more round. And again, I'm going to put black in it so you don't really see it. It's not as noticeable. But really, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this for 20 something dollars. Uh, if you can see, it seems to fit pretty good with just the skull cap on. I didn't put um, a padding under here or anything. It's really just the skull cap that I have on. Though, 
after wearing it for a couple hours, you may overheat. So I'll have to kind of play with that and see how that goes. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks for, for the price that it was. So once I make the armor um, and the cape and everything, this will fit over that. I might add some uh, Velcro or magnets to it so that it just, it just snaps in to like under the cape or something. So it just kind of stays together with the cape. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that X uh, causer. So uh, not bad. The ears are not perfect for what I've seen in the movie, but all in all, it still has that kind of bat fleck feel to it. So uh, not too bad. I'm kind of happy with it. What do you guys think? Go ahead and uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe. I'll try to do a few more reviews. I'll also show you the making of the armor as I go. Um, but yeah, this is it. I'm pretty happy with what I got. Um, there are other options for you guys with bigger heads and stuff. Um, there is Tiger Stone, Reeves FX. Uh, there's quite a few people on Etsy that also make um, custom bat cowls that may be really amazing quality and it might fit a bigger head as well. I know the Tiger Stones fit bigger heads for sure. Um, I have a friend that has one. So again, um, shout out to X Causer. Good job uh, for, for an inexpensive cow and just a little bit of alteration. I think it looks pretty dang good. So all right, guys, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.